What's up, guys? Welcome to GameSpot's Things You Missed, the show brought to you by Kind of Funny. That's us. Hey. I'm Tim Geddes. This is Greg Miller. Hi. Today, we're taking a look at the Suicide Squad, the second trailer. Second trailer First for Suicide trailer, Squad, right. There was a teaser. This is the, the trailer one. I think this is trailer one. No, no, this is trailer two. Trailer. Oh, that's okay. the thing a lot of people are going to if, if you've never seen one of these things you missed, you've never seen one of me talk about DC Comics, we're about to go into the fucking nerd zone here and get really, really deep into it. So what you need to know is that I'm going to be pulling a whole bunch of stuff from trailer one. So if you want to open up two trailers in a separate tabs, I support this. Because okay. there's a lot of stuff. I've been looking at the analysis of trailer two, mm -hmm. and people aren't pulling in enough stuff from trailer one to make the connections they gotcha, need Gotcha, gotcha. Now here's the thing, Greg. Usually with this series, I'm kind of the one dropping the knowledge. Yeah. But here, obviously. Obviously, you, Mr. DC fanboy himself, That's Greg me. Miller. Yeah. You're about to get into it. Let's do this. Okay, cool. Queen, of course. Of course. Right. So now, if all right, stop it. Stop, stop. Wait, you're going too fast already. We're going into this prison penitentiary mm -hmm. thing here, right? The, obviously, everyone's jumping to the conclusion, which I agree with, that it's Belle Reeve. Belle okay. Reeve, of course, home. It's like the, it's the, it's down in Louisiana in DC Comics, right? It's home of all the meta-human bad, bad criminals. And it is where Task Force X mm -hmm. slash the Suicide Squad usually is run out of. So that's where we're jumping to. And they also have coming up, you'll see on, now you can let it go. So, of course, the guy yelling in there. Uh-huh. Jai Courtney. Yes. AKA Ca Captain Boomerang. Mm -hmm. Let it go now. You roll into Harley. Now, of course, Harley drinking so an espresso, fancy. reading a romance novel, which is of funny. Course. Now, what it's hard to see right there, but if you see on her leg, it says Sight Bravo Detainee. Mm. We're about to see Deadshot Will Smith, and you'll mm -hmm. see it really big and bold and on his back there. Again, I think they're calling you know, Sight Bravo being Belle Reeve or whatever. And gotcha. I like the detainee thing because it's like Guantanamo Bay. Mm. It's kind of giving us, you know, mm -hmm. that government look of what it is, right? Of the what's fact going that, like, on. They're outside of the justice system. They're over here, of course. Yes. There we go, Will Smith. There you Looking, go. Looking, and he's upset. He wants out. He yeah. wants to get back to his daughter. Again, from trailer one, we know that. Floyd Lawton, he has his daughter. Stop, Killer Croc doing push-ups here. Mm -hmm. He's got his own little pool. Very Arkham Asylum-esque, yeah. you know what I mean, from the games we know or whatever. He, he got to keep it pumped, you know. Sure, he's got all his meat hanging over there and stuff because he's a cannibal and a monster. And Stop, El Diablo here. <laughs> now, here's... There's a lot of things I want to talk to you about, ladies and gentlemen, happening in this Suicide Squad trailer. A lot of different themes, elements, and so that's where it's going to get crowded along. El Diablo here, of course, making fire out of his hand. So he's a pyromancer right there. Mm -hmm. Here's what I want you to know about the Suicide Squad based on this trailer, based on what I think. I think that Suicide Squad is going to be, as they are now expanding the cinematic universe for the DC, this will be the first movie where they really introduce magic. And they're mm. like, magic is real in this universe. I don't think Batman and Superman will tackle it too much. It all comes down to how they're going to use Wonder Woman. We watched the DC Comics thing last night on CW, and they talked about, you know, the Themyscira's the deal. They were there to protect man. They've given up on man. So are they going to play into the gods, and, like, is it going to be magic there as well? Who knows? But I think Suicide Squad is going to be a first taste of real magic. And, as I will talk about in a second, and we get, get going, I think it's also going to be anchored around Harley. I think okay. we're going to see, Harley is going to be our gateway to this. But keep going. Okay. Well, speaking of that, the, the Croc dude. Right. What's Killer the Croc. deal with that? Eh, it, Batman, he's a Batman villain. He's been around forever. You know, he's, it's one of those where his interpretation is always a little bit different in terms of just, he's, I mean, he's Waylon. His name was Waylon, right? He mm -hmm. just goes on and becomes a Croc at some point. His skin gets scaly. He, okay. We all know him from the animated series where they played that. But like, he's like super crocodile. So yeah. okay. I don't know how exactly they're going to play it off. And he eats it, people. He does eat people, yeah. yeah. Circus freak kind of thing. There we stop here. Now, I did not realize Captain Boomerang was being played by Funhouse's Adam Kovic. <laughs> but here he is, tortured. That's very, very, very accurate. He wants to get out, obviously. Now, I'm telling you this right now, Greg. Mm -hmm. Captain Boomerang? Yeah. He's going to be the star of Breakout this movie. star? Are you like, basing that on the one beer thing from later on in the trailer? There's multiple things. Every single time you see this guy in this trailer, yeah. he's just oozing with character. There's oh, something sure. going on. Every motion just feels right. Right, I agree. And I, I, I agree. think he's going to be the equivalent of... Batista in Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, where okay. the moments he has are the ones that people are talking sure, about. Sure, sure. Okay, I like that a lot. See, it's interesting because I was thinking the fact that, uh, you know, Killer Croc could have, like, the Hulk moments. Amanda Waller, of course. I haven't really explained Suicide Squad. If you're watching this, I assume you know a bit about it. But Amanda Waller, this government agent, right, sets up Task Force X, the Suicide Squad, based on all these super villains or whatever, right, where basically there's usually something implanted in their head that they can, like a kill switch, they can blow up their, mm. they blow their heads off right away or whatever. If they don't do what they want, send them in on missions that, you know, nobody else would want to go on because they don't care if they die or not. Now, can you frame by frame this? Are you aware of the frame by frame? I am. This is something that gets glossed over, but this is a nice little effect here, right? As they go into both this logo and then the next logo, they go in there and put, like, the Joker writing or whatever yeah. the hell is going to be. So it pops up oh, the pictures, cool. pictures, and then you let it go into the next one, too. 
There you go. They do it to comics, comics. too. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Real thing. I mean, the, uh, but even then, though, just the colors and the vividness yeah. and the yeah, brightness yeah. of this and just the kind of like garish look that it has. Yeah. Like, very unlike anything we've seen from DC right. movies so far. Well, and, and I like this that. is the, this is like, I, I don't, I, you know, we work with a jerk. We, and I, I, I know a jerk. Mm-hmm. I, know a, I know this guy named Colin. Mm-hmm. And he always throws around this hashtag Colin was right and stuff. Last night was a Greg was right moment. Because I've been saying for a long time, Suicide Squad has the chance to be the breakout. Suicide Squad's going to catch everybody off guard. Da, 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 da. And last night, everybody was talking about how great it was and how yeah. amazing it was. And this is going to be so much more light. And da, da, da. I'm like, this is what I've been predicting. Also, if you notice before you go, you got like the Harley Quinn diamonds. On the oh, TV. yeah. Not, not a lot of people calling that out. Oh. Not enough people calling out for my attention. Now, here we go. Stop. You got people running in, Bell Reeve, there's something going on, right? You'll see the word shoe pop up a lot. Hmm. Uh, and it means that... Well, that's C-N-E-R-T. That's right. emergency response team. Yes. Later on, you'll see shoe, special housing unit. Again, saying that we're not in the, you know, that these aren't your normal kind of people. We are. Now, stop. This is very important. Very interesting. You just stop there. This is, if you look at this chest, what does it say? Alpha One. Alpha One. Now, what's interesting about Alpha One is I'd write down his name, of course. He's the guy from Neighbors. He, not Seth he Rogen. Is. He's the friend from Neighbors. Mm-hmm. Where did I put his name on here? Where did I put his name on here? Alpha One. I can't find his name on here. I put it on here because I'd never. Oh, here it is. Ike Brainholds. Brainholds. Brain All right, cool. Brainholds. You're smarter than me. Alpha One. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people thought when he got announced that he was going to be in this movie that he was going to be a young Hugo Strange. Mm-hmm. Still could be. Still could be. I doubt it. Seems yeah. like he's a guard more than a doctor. But you'll see him a few different times in this trailer, usually being a dick to the Suicide Squad. So he's mm-hmm. working on the Amanda Waller, Rick Flag team on this guard side. But something I want everyone right now, you listening at home, take a mental picture of his face. Because he's going to be important later when I start setting up my timeline and how I think this is all tied into it's Harley's origin. And then this is, you know, go. I appreciate you. Bro. So Alpha One being, okay, stop. Go back. Alpha One being a jerk here. Alpha One torturing people. Alpha One, this, when I first saw this in the trailer in motion, right? I was like, oh, no, no, we weren't framed by framing. I thought it might be Will Smith. Yeah, I thought, I thought it was Will Smith else. too. It's El Diablo. If you yeah. r- scroll oh. it back in the tube, he's being water tortured, right? He's this fire that's guy, fire. but he can't do his fire if stuff. If you play Pokemon, it? you know that's not a good matchup. I guess that is really where we all learn that fire and water don't mix. But Alpha yeah. One being the one who's torturing, of course, so they have a big problem with him. Let it go. Then here we go. Now, this is always the thing. There's the shoe I was talking about in the back where I thought maybe it's going to be Shihei Yoshida. No, oh, yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> this is, you know, through the editing of trailers, you're never 100% sure what, if things are happening chronologically. Yeah. This really does look like them being introduced to Croc, and you would assume mm. that if we're sticking with the idea of the Suicide Squad, maybe this is them bringing, these are the doctors who are going to implant him with whatever the kill switch is. Yeah. So let it play. Okay. Croc comes in. Was He's scary. Alpha one in the game there. Mm-hmm. Now, this is a great one. Pause it and go back two seconds. Just no, no, fractions of seconds. Um, st- okay, now, so Alpha One, th- your eyes are drawn to Will Smith because you yeah. can look away from Will of Smith. Of course. But Alpha One back there. Then just this old guy in the other corner just looking at nothing. Yeah. Like, be on your job. All right, go, give me two frames ahead. Now, all right, three frames. Stop. What th- this is the, the introduction, we assume, of Captain Boomerang, right? Yes. Now, w- this is where Harley pops out, and she's like, welcome, boys, and does the whole awesome the yeah, voice yeah, yeah. in the head. And it seems like they're all being introduced. Maybe they're all getting to Bell Reef for the first time. Maybe they're all meeting at Bell Reef for the first time. But what I love about this is, if you notice, this would imply that Captain Boomerang was sent <laughs> to Bell Reef in the Australian Post. It says right down there, Australian <laughs> Post, that he was just mailed in a body bag. <laughs> I love that. So let it go. He pops out, he fights a bunch of people. Oh, yeah. yeah it pause. Michigan shirt in the back. Mm. Always a big fan when they let the school's names be in there. Like, yeah. just like the hit movie Roadhouse where they were wearing a Missouri sweatshirt. Big it's fan. important, very big important. Fan. Let it but pause. this is what I'm talking about with, uh, with Captain Boomerang. Oh, here. sure. Pops out of the bag, just punches the first person. Right, he right, sees. right, right, right. Like, there's no thought in that at all. And I love that. I love that a lot. I, think, I have a different read of this where I think this is like a training facility. That they're being sure, to. but I mean, I, I I agree with you on that. But I think this is like, I, ba- okay, here, well, just look, well, we're going to go forward a few more frames. Okay. You're going to see Deadshot. You're going to see Harley, and they're both in the t- detainee outfit, right? But this looks like the introduction introduction of Boomerang to the group, and it looks like the introduction of Slipknot to the group here. Okay. So let it go. There's Slipknot. Knocks out a woman, by the mm. way. So they're like, all bets are off. Yeah, he's a bad guy. Now, how much do you know about Slipknot? Um, they were really popular in the 90s. Exactly. I never really no one knows know. anything about Slipknot yeah. other than he's this like super low rung DC guy, right? So the theory for a while on the internet, because he's what he is, is like he's an assassin. He's also a master of ropes. Oh. 
He has okay. a lot of ropes on he his He does dime. have a lot of ropes. Uh, the theory for a while was, of course, you. Have, I know you're you're up on all of your DC knowledge. You oh. watched Batman Assault on Arkham, Arkham, the awesome animated mm. movie that mm. was all about the Suicide mm. Squad and tied into the Arkham not. video game universe. No. It's a really good movie. Everybody should do it. But in that movie, right, they put all the Suicide Squad and they put, I don't even remember who it was. They put some B-lister in there, D-lister yeah. in there. And you're like, they're going to die. Why is this guy? No, I didn't even think it was, it was a cartoon. I didn't know this was going to be a oh. hardcore cartoon. I was like, why is that guy in there? And then, yeah, the first thing he tries to leave, and Amanda Waller blows up his head to make a point. Of yeah, like, you can't exactly. do this. These movies need cannon fodder. Right. And I think that Suicide Squad entirely is cannon fodder. Not everybody, but for Slipped sure. Slipknot for sure. I, I, the theory on the internet was, like, we've never seen him in marketing materials, mm-hmm. really. We don't see him in any of the, the hero shots. He must die in a scene like this. Again, this looks like the introduction, right? Where the FBI is mm-hmm. dropping him off. Australian Post sent in Boomerang. We've got already it. got Harley and... But later on, he does come up. I still think he dies in this movie. Okay. Hi, boy. All right, so see, yeah, here, there's the, there you go, Harley Shoe. Pause again. Dial me back a couple. Bell Reef up there. Mm-hmm. Bell Reef. Oh, cool. Bell so Reef. It's officially in, called it, that. Oh, yeah, for sure. Now, it, 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 it says Shoe over there. So, yeah, we would assume they're still in Bell Reef and that, you know, the thing here. Give me a couple more frames to get back to Rick Flag. Rick Flag here, of course, leader of mm-hmm. the Suicide Squad. He's the one who is still. In the good graces, he's the actual commander part of this. Now, here's where it gets interesting, and in where I thought some people missing the boat, even though there's a lot to talk about on mm-hmm. this one. Behind him, now, I can never pronounce her name. Cara Delavine? Del- Del- Nick, can we get a reading? I think it's Delavine. Delavine. Delavine, of course, Nick knows. Nick knows everything about it. I know everything about the fictional characters. Nick knows the real people. She's June Moon, right? Now, she is the one who becomes entra- Enchantress. Enchantress. In the old com- in the comics, right for a while, she could just like make the person appear, and then she would t- they switch. It was it, it, whatever. This uh, we'll see in it. She, it takes over. Now, here's where you need to take some of that trailer one knowledge and toss it in. First off, again through the editing of trailers, maybe we're splicing the wrong conversations. But Rick Flag appears in the VO that's going right now to be talking to her because mm-hmm. he says you're possessed by a witch. He, mm-hmm. But everyone else is like. Shoots people, eats people, crazy. You were possessed by a witch. Now, if you go back to trailer number one, we had the whole thing of June Moon, seemingly before in, she's Enchantress, going down into a cave, going in, had some kind of mud or slime on her face. That will be important later on in this trailer. I assume you've already seen this trailer. You know where I'm going with this. But it'll be important later on. Right here, she's not part of the... She doesn't... Is she... She's possessed, they know. Is it in context? Is she... Keep, it's okay. interesting. Okay. I want you all to keep your eye on the train interest in June, June Moon. There you go. There's some hero shots. So now we're getting them in their, in their outfits. They're right. finally doing right, right. some stuff. I think Croc looks awesome. Looks, I don't know about you. He looks right. He looks like right a killer Croc. Yeah. El Diablo. Uh, stop. There's, so there's Encha- Enchantress, right? Now here's the next interesting thing to pull from the internet and put in here. There's been theories that Enchantress is actually the villain of the movie. Mm. So now I need you to, when you mm. go through this, looking through this, through the looking glass with me here, you won't see June Moon working, you know, in, in the hero shots. You won't see Enchantress working with everybody else. Now stop here. That's important too. Uh, but keeping keep Enchantress on the on the forefront of your mind. Dial me two back to that sexy bearded guy. Okay. You know who this is? No. This is Scott Eastwood, Clint okay. Eastwood's son. Really? Yes. Do you know who he's playing in the movie? No. No one knows who he's playing in the movie. Very. Mm. That's all I got for you. He's there. He's good looking. He's gonna shut shut. He's gonna do a fist bump later on in the trailer, mm. and that's all we'll know. So keep going. I want to fist bump Clint Eastwood's son. Maybe you will one day. Okay. Maybe we'll have him on the show. We can hope. We can. Sorry. I thought this whole this whole scene great. was great. Look, and the, the way she tapped it, slip not okay. You're gonna die. It's yeah, this guy. Here. It's this over guy's for you. getting it. It's over for you, toast buddy. <laughs> there you go. Flag sitting there. The whole group. Yeah, this is you know. But this, just a great scene for her. Yeah. Flag explaining the situation here. All right. So now stop. Now this is where we're going into battle. We're doing all these different things. Uh, it, 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 what I like a lot. I'm, I'm rewinding here for you. Is that. This was filmed in Toronto. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, I don't know Toronto well. This seems like an insert from Chicago. Usually, whenever you see bridges over water in in you know a city landscape like this, it's Chicago, the Chicago River, whatever. I'm a big Chicago boy. But what's interesting, of course, is that we've known for a while that this is happening in Midway City, which is the Silver Era, a uh, sil- Silver Age home to Hawkman and Hawk Girl. But we've seen, you know, they've had police cars with, that say uh, yeah, Midway City and all mm-hmm. these different things. and all, da, da, da. So that's the city we're fighting in, we think, right now. It, 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 you know, it's DC Wikipedia says it's based on Chicago. So if they actually use some Chicago inserts to make it look like that. Makes sense. I'm a pro. I'm not a pro. I'm a fan. Stop. So here's where we start getting into what we're up against, right? So here it looks like a plane in the background has yeah. been brought down, right? 
Uh, I'll go for it a few more frames. Now, this is, you know, slimy, right? We've got some kind of slime, we've got some kind of creature, we've got some kind of whatever going on. Now, it's cut off on our view, but the viewer can see it real well. Over there on that Dunkin' Donuts, mm -hmm. there's graffiti. It's an X and then stuff written around the X. Mm. Now, as you know from The Last of Us, from zombie movies, all these other things, right? What we have been finding recently is that that is like supposed to be shorthand for six people were found, two of them were infected, or some, you know, some version of that. Yeah. So now we start wondering, you know, uh, there's that thing of, you know, dead shot landing, like time to save the world, and da 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 da. I, when I first saw the trailer, and when we first started talking about Suicide Squad, and I'm talking about the first trailer. Yeah. I was thinking, okay, cool. They're going after the Joker. They're being sent in to take out the Joker. That's the thing. Da 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 da. Now it looks like they're actually up against some kind of magic zombie threat. And this goes back to what I was talking about—that this is going to be the movie that induce, introduces all of this stuff in terms of like, yeah. this is how magic works in the DC universe. It is real. They have all these different. Because mm, that's always been a mm. for me as a comic book reader and fan. That's always been a breaking point for me. Yeah. I got, uh, alien landing, okay. Guy just as a bat, okay. Dr. Fate going between worlds and doing all this stuff. Like, mm, it's like, all right. I don't know about that much. You all know what I mean? right. So it'll be interesting to see how they explain it. I'm hitting it now. Very you can bad. go back to hitting it. I like, I know you like hitting it. Okay. Now, oh, there we go. So now, the group shot. Right. Uh, real quick, this is going to come in later here, right? That we, we, you, you, you'll see throughout this these helicopters getting shot at and blown yeah. away, right? We'll get back to that. I just wanted to keep that in your mind right now. Looks mm -hmm. like maybe the Suicide Squad going down, right? Or one of their choppers. Mm -hmm. Now, here's what I'm talking about. You're right. Hero shot. It's everybody, right? No, it isn't. Where is Slipknot? Where is Enchantress, right? Yeah. This is Katana's first real debut in the trailer, uh -huh. which is awesome because she's a really cool character. I'm excited to see what they do. But this was also feeding in last night when I was you know, on my forums, on my reddits and all that stuff, of people saying, well, there you go. Proof, Slipknot's dead. And a lot of people then were just ignoring that literally the next frame, fl frame <laughs> Slipknot's still there. And that's what Jai Courtney, Captain Boomerang, is wearing over here, right? So it looks yeah. like, this looks like a later shot. It looks like he's got no hat. Mm. It looks like an attack mm. has rendered Captain Boomerang hatless. I well, there's one thing know. I know about Captain Boomerang is that he's going to get it back. Ah! Yeah. I had to do it at some you point. You did. So here they are marching in. We have Katana in the back there. Again, like, I, she wasn't introduced, you know, in the Formally. normal thing. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? I wonder if she joins the team late. Here's more of this stuff. Again, slimy, tearing yeah. thing. It looks like you're fighting prototype, right? This looks like the 1998 Godzilla movie. It does, right? There was the babies in yeah. the subway. Yeah. Uh, Deadshot shooting something, Harley going away. Everyone's gonna love Harley. Yeah, I mean, that's, of course. That's the, everyone knows that. I'm interested in how much Will Smith has in this movie. Like, he does get the, the first billing. Sure. Yeah, he's Will, yeah, yeah. Will Smith. Yeah, and that's gonna be the interesting thing. But I do, my prediction is going to be, and we haven't even gotten to that sub thread of this trailer, so I hope you packed a lunch for this, is the fact that this will be Harley's origin story. That's gonna be the anchor for us as the audience. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think Will Smith, I think it's always weird because. Will Smith, to me, is going to be the leader of the team, really. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But then, of course, they do have flags. So we'll see what happens. There you go. Great. Harley doing this stuff. We, get, oh, we yeah. get to see the mask in motion, of course. We haven't seen that in, I don't think, ever. But if you notice here, this is them in an office building, right? Fighting something. Here's what you got. Now, some people have theorized these are dudes in costumes. That this, I'm saying they're infected. Mm. I'm saying what's happening is that they're there to fight this magic infection. I don't know exactly what's happening. Uh, some dark matter from the other world that is turning people into these warriors or whatever. Because there's a scene coming up, and I don't think I'm lucky enough that it's the next one, but it's where... Goddamn, Croc looks awesome. Uh, it's where that, you know... Uh, Deadshot is firing out of his awesome hand cannons, which he needs canonically, uh, against a whole bunch of people running at him like zombies. But we'll get there in a second. I'll slow that scene. Yeah, that's great. Good job. And also, the, the, now, okay, so now... So now things get real. Now everybody pack a lunch and get ready. So now here, you might remember about 40 minutes ago in this rewind, I told you what you needed to look for and remember was the facial hair mm -hmm. of one Alpha One. Mm. I believe this man getting slapped by the Joker <laughs> is Alpha One. And so now we get to the point of where are we in the, the timeline? I believe there are many timelines merging because right, right, right here, like look, that looks like Alpha One. Don't yeah. tell me that doesn't look oh, like the guy like from him, Neighbors, all right? For sure. So now, Here's where y'all need to pack a lunch and get, the, we're gonna get right in to the nitty, nerdy gritty of this. What I wanna propose to you is this, is that this movie will open with Joker assaulting Arkham, taking, going in, and that's where Assault he will- Assaulting Arkham sounds right. Where he will get Harley, mm -hmm. right? My question for you is, is there some kind of party happening at Arkham? And not like a party party, I mean like, you know, like a dinner party, you know, like, yeah, like yeah, yeah. they're having like their Christmas party, I don't think it'll be Christmas party, right? But Alpha One appears to be in some kind of suit, 
Joker yeah. in a purple collared shirt. 40 minutes from now in this video, that will be important for you. We'll go on. He has like 10 outfits in this trailer. I know, and uh, trust me, I tried to piece them all together timeline-wise. Uh, these guys, of course, making their assault here. We've seen this before. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen these guys uh, like the in Never a different Soft context. Logo. The Neversoft logo in there, and the creepy Ali McBeal baby grew up to be a gunslinger <laughs> over oh there. God. But they're making their, in the, is this an assault on Arkham again? Is this where, uh, yes, it, they're assaulting for sure. You know what I mean? <laughs> and up there it says Ward F. You're thinking, or what I assume it says Ward F. It says yeah, yeah, yeah. R and F. Whatever mm -hmm. the hell that means. But I would think Ward, a Ward of Arkham, you got the stuff over there. It doesn't look like Bell Reeve. Mm -hmm. Different kind of setup. Again, so. though, the colors. You know, you see the blue. No, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, a lot yeah. of like glowy colors in this sure. uh, whole trailer. And I like that. So now, this and is another one. Uh, keep in mind, this is a yet another Joker outfit to track. He's in the tuxedo. A lot of people were, not a lot of people, I saw some people last night online doing a call out of like, oh, what a nice homage to that famous, uh, famous Alex Ross uh, Joker and Harley painting. Mm -hmm. Where Joker is in the tuxedo and Harley's in front of him all sexy like in yeah. the outfit. Keep in mind, there he's shooting out the back of the plane. When is this happening? Now, here we go. We're rewinding this. This is Mr. Frost. Now, when I first saw this in context, Tim, mm -hmm. I was like, oh, uh, there's another one of these army guys who's out there shooting stuff, doing his thing for Suicide Squad. Because okay. we've seen so many of them. Not at all. What I, I'm totally wrong on it. And so would you, if you said it. Credit, this young man here is Jim Parak. Is that how okay. you want to say that, you think? Sure. Parak. Jim Parak. From Fury. I knew him more as the guy who was really fat and then got less fat and dated Jessica on True Blood. Okay. He will come up later and he's one of Joker's henchmen. If you notice in this, he's wearing, he's, he looks like this is the same thing, right? There's Joker you see over there with the tuxedo mm -hmm. in the corner, mm -hmm. but he's also dressed up like they came from a ball or something. Gotcha. He says Mr. Frost on his arm and then he has some kind of logo on his patch there. It looks to me like JCF. Somebody said it was an S, maybe Joker Security Force. Mm. Either way, it doesn't matter. He's still working. So you're telling me there's a, a Mr. Freeze and a Mr. Frost in this DC universe? Well, technically, there is no Mr. Freeze that we know of yet. But well, you would assume Victor is out there doing something. Saving Nora, of course. Now, here we go. This is a callback to the original trailer, mm -hmm. which a lot of people have forgotten where, if you have it open in another tab, don't watch it yet. But later, go back and watch it, and you'll see that that is where you merge up Eyeball Man and Babyface and all these people running through and shooting because it looked like they were going in to take over, and they you see them throw uh, Margot Robbie down, and mm -hmm. she's very glasses, regular hair. She's still Dr. Quinzel. She's yeah, not Harley yeah, yeah. yet. And that's when he walks out. I'm just going to hurt you real bad. And does that. You assume where he starts birthing Harley and making her into what he wants. Now, of course, this is another thing pulled from the first trailer, where I'm telling you that this is all, I think these are all flashbacks, and that's where I think it comes down to that we open, and we're going to open this movie with Harley being Dr. Quinzel. Mm -hmm. and she's working in Arkham, or whatever, and then boom, doors explode, Joker's dudes come in, da da da, I'm gonna hurt you real bad, and then it's a hard cut, and we jump weeks, months ahead, or whatever, mm -hmm. to where we'll see it later, where she was doing that sexy dance on yeah, the pole, on or whatever, and she's got like the gold on, she's like just doing all this stuff, because we saw that, and then she, they'll leave that place when Batman comes to break it up, get into the car that we see, because this is a car from trailer one that had Batman on top of it. Remember? This is a car. That was another movie. That was a different one. I, Not this I remember that one. Yeah. Not this one. So these are all flashbacks leading up. I, I believe we're going to have all these flashbacks leading up to Harley getting imprisoned in Bell mm -hmm. Reef, how she got to be there. Maybe they won't all come at once, like I'm saying. But that's uh, this is, I, I still say, a for sure flashback, where she says, yeah, awesome, I hope you got insurance. I'm really excited for this movie. I can tell, Greg. Okay, just letting you know. Don't know if you, I don't know if you all are aware that every one of my dreams has come true and there's a DC Cinematic Universe. <laughs> almost, almost exploded last night watching. <laughs> now here we go. Enchantress, again, right? Let's mm -hmm. have some fun. Not with the group. Appears to be threatening the White House. Appears that she's in a safe room at the... I would say a safe room at the White House, right? Yeah. Threatening them. So mm -hmm. I would say, again, maybe she is the bad guy. You know what I mean? Maybe, yeah. maybe that's how it's worked. Of like They set up the squad. Everything's going fine. And then, you know, uh, June Moon gets overtaken by the Enchantress. She's possessed, we knew, for a while. But something kicks in in this ter terms of, like, this is why magic exists in this universe. This is what we got to do. Yeah, see... That guy looks really calm well, I, to be dealing with this whole thing. But my thing is, I, I think it's one of those where she stopped time, she's frozen everybody. Oh, okay. Like, they're not, they, okay. they're panicking on the inside if they're cognizant yeah, of what's yeah, happening. Yeah. Or she's just there being a goonie. Yeah. Because I hate goonies. Right, there you go. Like you're saying. Like, even right there, right? Like, yeah. Every awesome. little, like, motion he does, you're like, all right, that guy. I want to hang that out with him. That guy. Great, this. great scene of the Joker. Come right? on. I just, and his laugh, right? His laugh is so it's haunting good. and excellent. It's but yeah, good. All this, I like all the champagne, all the knives, mm -hmm. all the guns. Yeah. We haven't even talked about the, the music in this trailer, which obviously is amazing. I, love, I believe it's an original song. I've never heard it before. Exactly. I love the um, the, the way that they, they use the music, similarly to Guardians of the Galaxy sure. using... Uh, yeah, everybody's like, oh, they're copying. I'm like, well, no, again, copying. if you would have listened to me, 
a long time ago, I would have told you this was going to be their Guardians. That they and were and I think to that's, that's the really cool, but I love the, uh, this, the way that this trailer was edited with um, all of the sounds of gunshots and knives yeah, and yeah, like, things yeah. exploding, totally matching up with the music. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Going for it. Explosions, great. Okay, finally, we get to see Katana in action right now. Now, of course, I don't want to screw this up because I always screwed up. I always call it the other thing. Soul Taker. Mm. That's her blade, right? Everybody she kills, the soul goes into it. And that's why, if you notice here in this freeze frame, there's all these skulls coming off of it because mm -hmm. those are the, the souls trapped inside it. Later on, her eyes are going to go black, and I just want to tell you about it. She has the ability to communicate with everyone she's ever killed in her vet. So you imagine that's what she's doing. She's going into talking to one of the people who's passed away, but who knows. Excited to see more of her. Mm. Right there you see it. If you were wondering if I was making it up about it being Midway City, it says Midway City Police in the car there. There'll be a couple other shots of it too. Uh, Amanda Waller in the background. Watch, you know, the, during this is like obviously going to be, I think, going to be obviously the, the montage. Yeah. Like, you're all together and we're going to see if you can pack it with the Suicide Squad. Yep. And like, they'll all do this. And Dead Shall I Come Out be awesome. El Diablo's going to be mad, of course. I'd be mad if my face was tattooed like that too. <laughs> this, that's yeah. just a great scene, right? And the, okay, so that, that's what I was talking about, right? With her eyes going black. I assume she's going to communicate with somebody she's killed before. This is what I was talking about before, where Harley's dancing in her, again, Harley esque outfit, mm -hmm. right? That we've talked about so many times. Uh, and then I think this leads into getting into the car to run away, because I assume Batman comes in to break this up yeah. in one of the flashbacks. Uh, assault here. This seems to be Joker forces, right? Mr. Frost out there shooting all this stuff, shooting down other planes. I, is he shooting down? Are they, are they fighting with the Suicide Squad right there? I'm on, it's unclear. This is again the assault. Now this is where it's interesting, right? Is like, this looks like it's paired up with the other stuff with the masks and the babies, but this looks like a newspaper facility, not a hospital, mm. right? It's like a bottling plant, so I don't think it is. There's Clint Eastwood's There's son the and the guy who oh, nobody knows, and sorry for him. Now here's, here's the big one. Groot. Oh, yeah, exactly. No, it totally looks like Groot, right? And like people are like, what? who is the enemy here, right? And Entra Enchantress? Makes sense in a way, but my thought process on it is going to be this. Of course, I think Enchantress could be the bad person. I think this person right here, who seems to be the big bad villain for this sequence, could be just a mini boss. Yeah, you know what I mean. This Enchantress is like, oh, I screwed it up. Screwed it up. Oh no, I screwed it up. I got, it, I got, it, I got. It. Take me back to there, Timmy. Why'd you let me touch it? All right, so there you go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Like that. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. All right, so here we go. So this could be this. Clearly, if you, I'm trying to get you one of the lit up frames. This looks to be. A normal person, right? It's got mm -hmm. a hand, and then you it's got the all ear. it's got all this stuff wrapped around it. So yeah. maybe this is another infection. You know what I mean? Out there spreading it, and so this it, it would be the evil unleashed by enchantress or gotcha. something that is then infecting uh, Midway City, which is then making people into these monsters or whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is the big bad of of, of its own. Which, at which point, if that's the case, I think what's going to happen is that enchantress and Moon. We're coexisting fine, but then the magical scales of balance tip to where this ancient evil was, and so she took over, and she mm. appears to be, you know, working against the Suicide Squad when really she's just out for her own gain, and they have to come together to fight whatever this thing is, which does look like Groot, as it destroys this train. Now here we go, back to getting everything together, right? This looks like the newspaper plant. Again, I was saying before, again, there's Jessica's boyfriend from True Blood, Mr. Mm -hmm. Frost, and whatever this guy's, you know, goofy-ass mask is. But this guy's got a hairnet on, mm -hmm. so he's in some kind of facility. But this is another jo Joker outfit look for you, the yeah, one he's just wearing the coat. It. Uh, Katana and Killer Croc not getting along, but I assume that. Now here, this is literally a frame, right? But it goes back to my point of, this is, I think, all flashback. Margot Robbie is Margot Robbie as Dr. Quinzel. I assume this is during her... If I'm, if I had, to, if you're making me predict, and you are, because you're paying me for this video, she running away from what's happening inside, right? Runs outside, and then this is the interior, interior view of Joker's car. Joker's car rushes up, she slams on it, Joker mm -hmm. gets out, and then, or she runs from Joker, and then they, he comes up and gets her with the. It's gonna hurt oh, yeah. real, real bad. I like your your Joker. Thank you. I'm working on it. I've been working really on it. He does. Not I really like where he's going with it. Uh, again, Midway City there. But this is where I was talking about. First off, thank you. Like, fan service right there. Like, that's what Deadshot does. Deadshot uh -huh. shoots out of these little hand cannons or whatever you want to call them, handguns. Uh, but here, this is where, like, they, they're, like, just waves of bad guys. But it's interesting in the way of, like, if they're infected, cool, but they're not mindless, right? This this one's using a shotgun as he runs. Yeah. Like, they're, and these guys have guns, but then, like, you just take it out and goes over, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's interesting to see <clears throat> what these bad guys will be up to. More of them there. Infected. More guys. There you go. Groot. Now, I'll, I'll tell you... I'll tell you for a second, and I, I do, do I think this is the case under no circumstance, but I would say 
and I don't think it's going to happen. So don't, don't yell at me when it's not, because I know it's not. I'm getting from this view a bit of a Brainiac vibe. Do I think Brainiac's getting introduced in Suicide Squad and the Suicide Squad? No, not at all. But there's a little bit of Brainiac going on here, if I'm being honest. You know, like, just a little bit of Brainiac. I'm just, you know, like. well, it could be like a setup or something. Exactly. You know? The infection that's on Earth, could that could be the thing. But then I don't understand Enchant- Enchant- Enchantress's involvement. Speaking of, there she is rolling her eyes at my theory. No, that's not Brainiac, Greg. <laughs> You're so cute and handsome. Everyone should follow you on Twitter. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Joker not happy with one of his outcomes. Again, this is another this gold thing here. He's probably upset about his outfit. Oh no, his outfits, one, his outfits no, are bombs. Not my favorite you, of them. You really? I think this is like I literally think he has like seven outfits in this trailer. Yeah, there's shirtless, there's the tux, there's this one, there's just uh, there's the leathery one. And remember when I told you forever ago, remember the purple shirt. We're still getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> El Diablo is shooting off some stuff here. Everybody seems impressed by him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's another frame of her, like I was saying, in the the party that get broken mm-hmm. up. Uh, here it looks like is where she loses control, right? Again, if you went back, went back and watched the original trailer, at this po- point for Miss Moon, she's there, and there's a big pentagram drawn above her, right? And then her eyes roll back in her head. And then here's the purple shirt again. A little bit red, more burgundy here. But again, this goes to, I assume, they, they do the assault. They, he zaps Dr. Quinzel, starts mm-hmm. making her crazy, and then I, I, it continues, I don't know if he takes her right here to Ace Chemicals, is what you gotta assume is Ace Chemicals, yeah. which again would play into the hairnet and everything that's going on in there, that they're mm. assault, they, they captured her from somewhere and then are taking her to the chemical factory, that's what I can't connect yet, you know what I mean, can't connect that yet. Uh, but then, yeah, he throws her in here, very new 52-ish, right, to recreate yeah. her, and then you see the how baptism the- baptism of- Oh, exactly, cool. and you see how all the, the colors run out, right, and then get into her hair, explaining why her hair is permanently dyed that way and bleached white. Because mm. you cool. see it in the next frame, right? That, like, that's yep. how her, those are the colors of her hair. So, th- you know, when he tossed her off here, she jumped and ran on her own or whatever. You know, I bet Joker tossed her. You know, it was to make a, make another one, to make a life partner. Yes. To make a pudding. And then he just has that awesome. That's just awesome. That's fun though. Here we go. Will Smith ain't having it. He's upset. Pro- see, again, it, this seems like we're... Back to the introduction of everybody. Mm-hmm. All right, you all want to be on the squad or whatever. You want reduced sentences. You want out. Come do this. Yeah. Uh, maybe Mr. Frost shot down this plane. There we are. Back in the plane, right? Or back in the car, mm-hmm. right? Uh, of course, this, you know, Joker not happy. Batman's on top of it. Use him. Will Smith. Punch and stuff. Okay, so what the, the hell, Greg? <sighs> now, that's the thing, right? Is I, there are inter- this is the movie that introduces magic and explains what's happening, right? Now, if you look, you can see that it's going off, and I can't tell if it's making the people around it stronger or destroying them, right? Is it infecting them, or is it taking away the infection? Whatever that is there, some kind of Ark of the Covenant that appears to have, like, slammed in and then rolled up the stairs, right? Mm-hmm. You figure that's either p- kicking out stuff that's making people into monsters or taking back the stuff that made them into monsters. Mm-hmm. And it looks like, in this frame, they're already monsters. But you can see there's that white stuff going on around them as if it's taking them off. But, you have, you know, at this point we can confirm that Harley, Katana, Croc, and a guy in a backpack, (laughs) general white guy in a backpack, (laughs) have survived this far into the movie. And Harley gets nothing, as she does. And then here, this great moment. Now, do, do you speak Latin, Tim? I do not. I don't either. But I had other people on the internet did, and they translated that over there, uh-huh. right? And what it re- reads to is, if you want peace, prepare for war. Love it. Yeah. And this, too, is another thing of just, like, the garish, like, artsy look sure. that this movie has. Love it. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. That was my yeah. short take on Suicide Squad. Yeah, exactly. I love how much you know, because I think this is one of those movies going into it that, like, people don't know these characters and don't right. really know their, their background or why... Where any of these places are and all that stuff. So. Sure. And I mean, that's why it's exciting. I mean, that's, again, if you want to, you know, say Crack was right about something. That's what I've been saying from the jump, right? And the fact that, like, I, I said about Man of Steel disappointed me when I first saw it. Saw it later on and had such low expectations. Like, oh, this is a good movie. It's just not the movie I, I thought I was getting. And then it became, I watched the Batman v Superman trailer. And I'm like, oh, this is the universe they're building. It was, And then this, when they announced Suicide Squad, it was like, this is going to be the test. This will be the one that people walk out of the theater after three cinematic movies in the DC universe and are like, I get what this universe is. It's not just Zack Snyder being dark and using this washed out thing. Like, this is the the way they want to use realism in this mm-hmm. world and stuff. Yeah. And then we'll put see. a whole bunch of magic and monsters in it. Definitely excited. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Things You Missed over on GameSpot. I'm Tim Geddes. This is Greg Miller. Keep coming back. You can follow us at Tim Geddes at 
Game over Greggy. You should definitely do Send that. Send me your theories. I want to know what you think's happening. Yeah. Just say hi to me. I just like hellos. He cut his beard. Talk about that. <laughs>